Hola, guten tag, and some other form way of saying hello, my freelancer friends. William here with another Your Anthem video, and today we're going to be doing our very first lore video, because today we're going to be taking a closer look into one of the many factions that's trying to kill us. You know them as Invader Zims, the bug-headed brigands of Brajol, and my favorite, which is so elegantly simple, the cockroaches. Let's dive in. First, we have to explain where or who these buggies come from and why they are obsessed with claiming Shaper technology. If you freelancers couldn't already tell, these guys aren't from the planet where Anthem's story takes place. Thanks to an interview with Anthem's executive producer, Mark Dara, by GameSpot, we know that the Scars aren't technically alien, but they're not exactly human either. So, what does that mean? The definition for something to be alien is they have to belong to a foreign country or nation, in this case, a foreign world. So, either Bioware is just just sending us on a wild goose chase, being cryptic, or there is more to it. I'll give you my theory in a minute. Also, for one reason or another, the Scars have a mysterious connection to the Shapers. Odds are most of our encounters with the Scars will be either extermination, preventing them from obtaining slash recovering Shaper tech, and so on. Another interesting avenue would be teaming up with the militaristic Dominion to take these freaks on as the Scars appear to be the enemies of all of humanity. And if they want the Shaper tech, that would definitely put a halt on the Dominion's efforts to harness the Anthem of Creation. But now that we have that out of the way, it's lore theory time. As far as where the Scars come from, I believe they could be a pre-Anthem world creation or an after-humanity developed creation. What I'm saying is, where would the Shapers have been before our world? Where would they have gone after they left our planet for whatever reason? In either instance, they could have created the Scars world and then left it much like they did ours. But if they left their world like they did ours, why didn't they leave their tools behind? Or if they did, is that how the bugs have the ability for space travel while we're stuck on our world? But where is my evidence? That is kind of muddled in theory too. From this screenshot, you can see a Scar Scout. Try saying that five times fast. What I want you to notice is its legs. Notice how their legs are bent like our javelins, with our feet as the knees of the suit. I believe this is called a cursorial leg type. Now, I'm not saying the Scars wear suits. Bear with me for a second. Now, do you guys remember how the Legion of Dawn studied Shaper technology to design the first javelin suits? Well, if the relics had references to beings that were swift, and well armored, with cursorial legs, don't you think the Legion of Dawn would use that as a rough template for the javelins, if not take it into consideration with the design? Now, this could be one of Bioware's reused designs for these characters and these enemies, but I think it's too much of a coincidence. Either way, they're drawn to Shaper Tech like a bee is drawn to the Queen. They have some sort of connection to it. And if it isn't the connection of a creator, what is it then? What worries me the most is we know what the Dominion wants with the Shaper technology, but we haven't even got the slightest clue as to what the Scar want with it. It's food for thought, freelancers. Food for thought. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this lore discussion. What do you think the Scars are doing? Or what do you think they want with the Shaper technology? Where did they come from? Am I just reaching here with my theories? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a great deal and helps me reach even more freelancers such as yourselves. Have a fantastic day, my freelancer friends. And remember to keep a can of bug spray on you at all times. Peace out, everyone.